So you said the next thing after that was metrics. Mm -hmm. So what's the next? So the next part of sc of scaling. You know, so measuring, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, measuring metrics. Um, so I've, we've got the right people. Yeah, we got our process. Mm -hmm. It's great. Is our process any good? I don't know. Why not? Because we're not measuring it. Yeah. So then we've got to measure it. And it's been an interesting conversation. This is one of the things that, you know, we have not done great. Like a lot of it scaling. Again, I'm not apologizing in any way. We have chosen to run hard and grow to a certain point. Uh, as I told you over lunch, we're going we're gonna to get damn good at this stuff um, in 2022. But, you know, we're really layering in those metrics to say, is that process working? Is it not working? Um, and the only way we can do that is if we're measuring it, KPIs, right? Yeah. Uh, I was trying to explain it to somebody the other day, and it's a really hard concept. I mean, we can, we can all read traction and, and all these things, but like, how do you simplify it? And I was like, okay, if, if I'm 200 pounds today, that's a metric. That's just is. It's me at a point in time. Mm -hmm. Well, let's say I want to get to 190 pounds. Okay, now I've got a goal. A metric and I got a goal. Um, but what, how am I going to get there? By wishing? Um, put on your vision board. Put on my vision board. Exactly. <laughs> Magically it will happen. Uh, I'll read a book about it. I'll put it on my vision board and I'll live into it. Um, so no, and then I got to measure. Okay, how, well, I got to create a plan. How am I going to get there? All right, I'm going to do 50 push-ups a day. I'm going to run two miles. I'm going to eat 1,500 calories, whatever that is. Um, but then we set out those three criteria mm -hmm. and we start measuring. And I go to Mark and he's like, how are we doing? I'm like, dude, I'm 202. How many push-ups do you do? None. Do you run? Eh. Would you eat? Dude, I had some great cheeseburgers the other day. Fantastic. You should have them. <laughs> right? Yeah. So we have to start measuring everything, and we're getting pretty good at that. Mm -hmm. um, we did, well, I'll get, I mean, we're A plus on that on the financials and some of the business metrics. Yeah. And I know I don't give A's, but like the confidence that you had during COVID is the confidence I have when I look at our numbers and I can tell you how long it takes me to rehab an asset, how much cash I have in it. I mean, inside and out, I've got eight pages of metrics that would blow your mind about how operationally strong we are. Yeah. We just got to get better at the department level now. Right. And that's a lot of people putting in data and you got to monitor that. And that's, that's one of the hardest challenges I know for us, right? Because we try to get, pull as much as we can yeah. out of our CRMs, you know, whether it's uh, we were, when you were using call tools, when you were using Podio, when we, were, when, when we are using Salesforce. I'm trying to pull as much of that data out as possible to automate it, but man, it still requires human capital. To put all that stuff together. Human capital or in massive investments into technology. Yeah. You know, that was one of the things. It's funny. I used to get a management dashboard every day at LabCorp uh, when I worked there. And literally, I could read that uh, and I knew how my day was going to be. Because mm -hmm. um, I knew, I knew last night's business was crystal clear. Did XYZ happen? Um, we don't have that today. But we've made a big investment um, into Left Main being one of the key platforms that we use. Um, mm -hmm. But then we hired on our own Salesforce admin. Oh, you did? Yeah. Have to. Yeah. How can we scale the business responsibly if we don't know what the heck that thing's doing? Mm -hmm. Stephanie's going to give us a great report, but that report may be more reflective of your business potentially than mine. Mm -hmm. So now we've hired that person. Yeah. Ryan and my team is just pushing me over. I don't know. So that's awesome. All right. I mean, more power to you. Yeah. I had a conversation with a good friend of mine uh, in this market, just the TV guy. Mm -hmm. uh, and he does it all himself. And he's the best, right? And you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Darren. Darren's the best. Amazing. Um, but I challenged him at C the last CG. He said, dude, just because you're great at it, what are you not doing as a COO or CEO for your other business? Mm -hmm. You got to get somebody on your team who can do that for you. Yeah. So I don't know. He's living a pretty good life, too. He's pretty happy. 80 hours a week. Yeah. Yeah, he's the best. I love that guy. <laughs> hey, um, so, yeah, so systems, you know, to get us there, I agree with you. If it's, you know, that's what I told my team. Say, hey, guys, all right, we're going to use this quarter to get our KPIs and measurables aligned. Um, and I don't want any that aren't automated. If yeah. I've got to pay one of my smart, talented people um, to go like this and input it, don't do it. Find another solution. Or um, let's find a VA who can do that. Oh, that's, and that's exactly what we're a whole lot of EAs. Yeah. So 